All right, guys, this is the 18th hired request of 2016. Hotel California piano solo version. So it's got the melody in the right hand, and this is a big, big piano arrangement. This isn't just noodling around playing the melody and, you know, having an accompaniment in the left hand. This is a big piece, um, and, you know, it's quite an undertaking. Not quite as big as the Phantom of the Opera that I just did, uh, but, you know, almost. <laughs> it starts out like this. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my, I'm not going to say easy piano lessons on this one. Welcome to my piano lessons. Uh, this is uh, part one of this epic piano solo arrangement. And I teach the whole thing, I already have taught the whole thing, on webpianoteacher.com, my website. Works on all mobile devices. Uh, use uh, Google Chrome or Firefox for best results. I have something on there for everybody, even if you're a complete beginner. And if you are a complete beginner, just scroll down the main library list to the L's al alphabetically to lessons. And there are 50 just lessons to get you started. Very beginning, very basics, foundational stuff how to read my style, my method, and how to play rhythms, how to get your hands playing together, chords, scales, and all that kind of stuff. And then you graduate to this one day. Some of you are already ready for this, so uh, you're going to love it. Uh, but let's start with the, the part one here. And I've uh, been working on it all day, and uh, it's evening now, so I'm going to do this. I'll do the part one last. I'm going to do this, then I'm going to watch some baseball. So. Uh, let's get going here. B minor, and, and this thing, man, has just arpeggios and some some awesome left hand, and uh, it's just a big piano arrangement of this piece. And, uh, but it starts out kind of subdued like this, and then it grows, you know. So here we go. B minor, F sharp, D B. I'm gonna use three. I mean five, three, two. Because right at the end, I have to do an F sharp with my thumb. So one, two, three. Oh, baby, you look so pretty. Kai, give me that. Oh, mama, so precious. And my new sparkly shoes. Oh, your sparkly shoes. My mama wants these shoes. Oh, it's so pretty. They're in faster. All right, all like right. This. Okay, go pack the rest of your stuff. Be metronomic. You don't want to go, but smooth. Okay, kind of like waves, you know, uh, ebb and flow. Uh, so that's your B minor chord. One, two, three, four, five. There's four beats, but you know, if you count it that way, count to five. The left hand, we have a B and a D. Uh, don't let this discourage you if you can't reach the B and the D. Many people cannot. Most hands are not big enough to just play that. So you just do that. But if you can reach it, then do it. All right. And then F sharp D, F sharp D, F sharp D, F sharp. Hands together. The ratio is two to one. Two in the right to one in the left. So you have. Okay, so all those secondary guitar parts are included in the left hand, so it's really a cool arrangement. But uh, here we go. You can't really tell that just from the first two measures, but A, C sharp, I mean E, C sharp, A sharp. Okay, if you include the F sharp on the left hand, we have an F sharp 7 chord. One, two, three. Just hold that. The left hand is going to go F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, ba ba ba. So C sharp, A sharp, F sharp at the end. Ba 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 ba. Hands together. We're going to play this louder. Boom boom boom. Kind of get big because then we're going to. So this measure again. together from the beginning. Then we get to 
some other things. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy that. Such a big undertaking to transcribe and to teach and make the videos. Uh, but I think you guys will, will, uh, it'll be worth it for you. In fact, if you want to work on broken broken chords and arpeggios, this is a great song to do it because it's it's a song you like and it's fun to practice those things if you're playing music that you like. If you're just sitting down and playing mindless arpeggios and chords, that's no fun. But playing it in a song you love, you, you don't really notice it and uh, you really improve your technique on, on those things. Talk to you guys later.